I just went to the store, got uh, paint remade for my, uh, you know, for painting the wax. And uh, got me an airtight container to put the paint in so I don't have to use all of this paint. There's a formula they put on the top of the can, you can see it there. And that's uh, the formula they use to uh, mix the paint to match the color of the clay. All right, I got it in an airtight container, and I got a couple extra lids for the plastic container just in case. Um, the paint and uh, the brushes and all the other stuff, uh, I came to about uh, $21. That's not too bad. Especially when you consider this stuff will last forever. As long as you keep it airtight. So I got the uh, some of the paint transferred into this. And I've stored the other paint uh, away uh, in the can for another time. Alright, let's get busy on the hands. Alright, I'm sitting at my computer table right now. So I can watch TV. And work on these... Uh, four hands that I'm working on. I've got the uh, wires prepared and I'm just getting the palms of the hands uh, sculpted right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing and uh, I'll keep the camera on and uh, hopefully you'll be entertained and educated at the same time. I'm enjoying this actually. It's, it's, I really wrestled with trying to figure out how to get all these hands uniformly sculpted because it, they're small and I want to keep them all uniform in size and shape and uh, it, it wasn't easy to come up with that idea, and it just was a, a moment just before I woke up yesterday that I had, had the idea to do this. And it really was a, a moment of brilliance. <laughs> and I'm not brilliant that much. What I'm going to do for, first I, I, is I'm going to uh, get all the palms ready to go. What I'm using is crystalline wax. It's a uh, dark brown soft wax that uh, foundries use. Uh, and it, some part of their process. You can usually buy 10 pounds of uh, crystal in a, in a block from the foundry. Uh, that's where I got mine. And it doesn't cost really all that much. I said earlier I'm not going down past the wrist because I may want to change the angle of the hand and you can't do that once you got the wrist on it so the wrist will come in late Tur.
Well, I've got the other hands done. Uh, next time, I'm going to go over them, uh, paint them, and get them ready to go onto the bodies. I'm going to set them aside right now. And uh, finish this up tomorrow. Well, I think I'll just leave it on the board. All right, that's going to be it for today. Good night, everybody. I hope you check out my uh, video I just posted on the uh, Hunter's Feed here in Ennis, Montana. Uh, it's entertaining. And I hope you'll order uh, some of my instructional DVDs on how to sculpt. And you'll find a link in the description to a review of each of the uh, DVDs that I have available as of now. Alright, have a great night.